Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Priscilla, but as always, you can call me beautiful. So today we are beginning a brand new Let's Play, Sins in the City, and we will be meeting our girls. Um, Sins in the City will be about three teenagers, super beautiful, super ambitious, very different teenagers uh, who are the best of friends, and we will just like follow their lives and see where it takes us. Um, right now it's set in San Machino. Like I said, they are the best of friends in high school. Um, no romance and interest yet, but we'll see. They definitely have their quirks and their aspirations and their dreams and their goals. So yeah, let's um, let's see how this goes. Um, they do live in three different sections of San Machino, which is pretty cool. They come from different backgrounds, different family dynamics. Um, parents have different careers things of that nature so but before we do get into the girls let's just briefly talk about San Machino for a minute um, so things are different we have um, it's still the waterside warble still a karaoke bar but it's just like an upgraded version that I downloaded from the gallery um, we still have plenty of Hollywood pop oh my gosh why do I want to call it Hollywood pop we still have Planet honey pop except I believe they added bowling again downloaded from the gallery um, sky fitness is now mile high <laughs> this gym was downloaded from the gallery I feel like it has like four or five floors haven't explored it yet we will get to it sometime and then this um, art gallery or this art center is something that I created several weeks ago I believe um, again off the gallery so what I would like to do today is for you guys to be introduced to the girls, their family, and just like a brief tour of their apartments. Um, and then maybe we can see how they interact together. So let's start off with Riley here in the Culpeper Apartments of the Spice District. Um, so Riley comes from a two-bit home. She lives with her twin brother, super cute, and um, her youngest sister, toddler. Um, they also have a dog named Chase. So yeah. Well, we are on dad, so let's just start with dad conveniently. How about that? How about that? Dad and his <laughs> and his boxers. Oh my gosh! Can we pause and wait a minute? What is this? Sweet Jesus. Oh, does he have freckles? Back up, back up. Look at that. Is that not a piece of specimen work right there? Who who did this? Who did this? Ooh, chow. All right, let's get back to Dad and his boxes. Okay. Where is Dad? Mm, 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 mm. I mean, Dad's not bad to look. Okay, focus, Priscilla. Focus, 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 focus. Focus. Get your head to, yeah, okay. That's not bad either. I mean, shorty the back got freckles though, but that's not bad. He got pretty eyes too. Okay, okay, I see you, Dad. Um, focus, Priscilla. This is Riley's dad. <laughs> Titus, a nice strong man. <laughs> at least the name is. He is the senior manager at, I guess, some department store we will call maybe, let's say, JCPenney's. Um, he's level six in his business career. Um, let's check out his skills. His skills include bowling, charisma. He's pretty charismatic. He likes to fish. Um, he's pretty handy, pretty smart. Parenting, he can work on uh, a bit. And pet training, which I believe pet training goes up to skill level five. So not too bad. Um, what I would like to see is bowling and fishing, but we'll see. You will notice, though, that parents of these three beautiful girls, um, as well as the siblings and them themselves, all have or share, like, traits. So what I would like to do is see, you know, dad hanging out with, like, Riley's dad hanging out with Stacy's dad and going bowling or... Um, Camille hanging out with Stacy's mom, you know, just like the families coming together and having a good time and mingling. Yeah, you know, fun stuff. Um, let's see. 
Titus, I love the name Titus and no shorts too, but Titus is a foodie. He is a goofball. He's lazy and he has to trait home turf. Mm, these Sims become happy when they are in their home neighborhood. So he may become a little agitated once he leaves Spice District. Um, this is Laurel Schrader. This is Riley's mom. Super pretty. Um, back here, this creep looking guy. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not the creepiest thing you've seen in a minute? Wow. Look, even she's worried. She's like, what is going on? What is going on? Oh, okay. Okay. Look at look at Mama. Jeez, he just looks murderous. Alright, focus Priscilla. <laughs> Alright, so this is Laurel. She is a stay-at-home mom, squeamish, cat lover, dog lover, and domestic, domestic, <laughs> domestic. So, those are her traits. Um, I feel like she's pretty high in parenting, level eight in parenting, um, level five in pet training. So she's complete with pet training, level five in wellness, level four in gardening and logic. Uh, not too charismatic not funny at all yeah not really fit like at all she's into wellness but not into fitness which is funny oh because both of her kids her older kids the twins are into fitness so geez that is just creepy um this is i'm sorry i got them there we go that's yeah that's more that's more relaxing <laughs> that face okay this is miles this is riley's twin brother he's pretty charismatic and funny um he shares a love of fishing with his dad level five fitness he plays the guitar um and a level four in logic he has an aspiration of being a body builder um just like his sister riley but we'll get to her soon he is also a dog lover. He has the active trait and the high metabolism trait. So that is Miles. Um, while we're talking about active and high metabolism, um, Riley has those same traits as well, but she is also a bro, which is funny, but we'll see how that works. I don't think I've ever had the bro trait with a female sim, so we'll see how that will work out. Her skills include char charisma, She's pretty charismatic. Um, she's pretty funny. Level five in logic and fitness, and level four in wellness. So she has that trait in common with her mother, and level three in guitar. She has that trait in common with um, Miles. There, there we go. See, super cute. This is Riley. She's a dwarves. Now, out of the three girls, uh, Riley, Camille, and Stacy, I do imagine that Riley is our more goal-driven ah. sim. Um, she's going to be the one that's focused on results and very ambitious, and she knows exactly what she wants to do, and she's not going to let anything get in her way between her and her goals of being bodybuilder. So. She's going to be our focused one more focused um kaylee schrader is the, the baby of the family she is a taller she doesn't look too terrified right now <laughs> um she has level three in thinking and communication oh and movement too but she needs some improvement in potty and imagination her skills include independence so she's pretty cute Cutie, cutie, cutie. Uh, I love sim toddlers. Oh, okay, okay, sassy pants. Um, and then we have what's the puppy's name? Chase. He likes to sleep. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. Are they? What time is it? Oh my gosh, they're off to school. Hmm. Okay. Goals oriented, so we're gonna study hard. Uh, we'll have Riley, yeah, steady hard. We'll have, where baby girl at? Let's have baby girl. 
Um, did I not give her any toys? Maybe because there wasn't any space for toys. Let's have baby girl play. Let's have um, mom and dad watch a movie. Watch Cinder with Titus. They have a really good relationship. And then while everybody's preoccupied, we will give a tour. Who's this guy? Sean Parker. Well, he got a basketball here. All right. So, let's give a tour. Y'all buckle up, because what's going on with his hair? Hold on. Let's, let's give a tour of his scalp very quick. Maybe it's blonde. Okay, it's blonde. Okay. I was worried. Let's see what... Let's see what he looks like. Let's see what he's working with. If I can ever get the camera to work, jeez Louise. Eh. Eh. Not my thing. Eh. I mean, alright, focus, Priscilla. Get your life, get your life. I don't even. Get your life, get your life, get your life. Alright, tour. See, I don't even know where I'm at right now. Chasing a man. Let's go. Get your life, get your life, get your life. Who is this guy? Where am I even? Who is this guy? Where are they at? How is that even possible? Who is that? Y'all. See, this is this is exactly why I was terrified of doing this let's play because I suck. All right, let's do this again. All right, tour of the Riley home. So, for when you first enter the front door, you are met by da da da, -da door number one. The bathroom, pretty standard. I believe washer and dryer is in here. Right, yeah, yeah, pretty basic stuff. Dad is the only uh, money maker in the family, so he does the best that he can, considering that he works at J.C. Penney as a manager, and he has a whole wife and three kids and a dog at home. And I imagine <clears throat> Maria wants more kids, so yeah, Dad does all right though. This is the master or owner suite. There is a bathroom here for them. Pretty humdrum boring. Um, what I love about these parents is that they rather spend money on their children. So while their bedroom and bathroom look like psh, blah, who did this? The kids' room looks okay. Um, Riley shares a bedroom with her baby sister Kaylee and Chase. So, this bedroom was already pre-made by Sims. Um, it's in like the build by mode already. So, I say that because here is the same as that bedroom. <laughs> Just different colors. And that is why Miles, the brother, has nail polish and makeup. Just FYI, if you were wondering. So, I mean, that's not to say he's not into that, but that is why it's there. I did not purposely put that there. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, living room. Um, living room, fine hunk of a, of a man, of a sim man. Um, kitchen, not much. I mean, you get a beautiful view of your neighbors. And I think that's it. A little office area over there. And so that's it, pretty much. In a nutshell, this is the Schrader household. So let's head on over to um, Camille's house in the Arts Quarter. So Camille Mendez lives with her father, Sergio. Sergio is, let's see, he is an artist, not an artist, author. Priscilla, get your life. <laughs> Sergio is an author. Um, they're both at home, but Camille should be at school right now. Okay, 
Sergio is an author. He is level 8, I believe, in the writer career. Uh, fan favorites. We'll see what it is. Um, so he is a single father currently, um, not by choice, mom passed away, so their relationship was super close anyway, Sergio and Camille, but his relationship is even more, you know, close and stronger because of mom's passing, so this is Sergio, cute, um, single dad, let's see, he loves to bowl, so I can see him bowling with Riley's dad, very charismatic, good parent, um, and good at writing, all seven. He also likes to video game. I imagine that they are from Selva Dorati. Selva Do Selva Dorada. Anyways, he's level four out of five in Selva Dorati and culture. There we go. Um, and what else? Uh, and he's a little funny. Camille's at school. Should we get her out of school? I don't know. Um, he's a loner, cheerful creator, or creative, and a muser. So maybe he's a loner because he lost his wife. We'll stick with that story. Here, let's give a quick tour while um, Camilla's at school. We'll give her a little more time at school before she comes home because, girl, you got visitors. You got to come home. As soon as you walk in the front door, you have a washer and dryer, bathroom. This is, I believe, the only bathroom in this apartment. This is Dad's bedroom right here. Has everything he needs. Pretty decent views. Um, you know, regular schmegular stuff. Hideous uh, poster of some guy. Um, I don't know, but I mean, it's not bad. Not my cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea. Cup of tea. Anyways, uh, focus for some. Uh, well, you know, office space for dad to write books, nice kitchen, island, living room, more books. As you can see, they love books, books everywhere. And then this is, um, baby girl's bedroom Camille I always see dad in here I'm not sure why because there is a whole computer out there <laughs> in the living room but he's always on baby girl's computer um, but yeah this is her bedroom Camille's bedroom let's bring her home and wait what's this a phone to pick Camille was discovered playing games on her phone when she should have been paying attention to a lesson a warning should do uh, please confiscate the phone. Well, she's a pretty good kid. A warning she do. Um, so conflict resolution increases, responsibility decreases. Um, see, we were about to call her and tell her to come home anyway. So, yeah. So this is not Camille normally. Camille in the group is like the mother of the group. She's super responsible, super cautious. Um you know, always reminding the girls of their curfews, <laughs> you know, just the good girl, I guess, um, yep, he is a fan favorite author, level 8, he wants to be a best-selling author, she also wants to be a best-selling author, so her and her dad have the same aspiration in life, um, we will get her grades up, because she is not going to stand for that right there, her skills include bowling, so she shares that with her father. She's really good at it. Uh, comedy, logic, set of five, charisma, set of five, um, sevens for violin and writing, uh, comedy as well, and then four out of five for Selva Dorati and culture. I'm going to say that different ways every single time. You know what, honey boo-boo child? I mean, while you're skipping school, you might as well do your homework. Let's do that. Mm, her skills include she is a jealous romantic and also a muser. 
So I do imagine that she will be perfect at writing um, like romance novels, maybe even romance thrillers. <laughs> Um, but we'll see. Yeah, she's definitely like she's also goal oriented, but she's more academic goal. Um, she wants to go to college. She wants to stay on the right path. She's matured a lot since her mother passed away. She's taken on the female role in the house, whatever that role may be. But you know, she definitely like cooks and cleans and keeps tidy and all that kind of stuff. So that is um, Camille. So while she's doing her homework, let us head on over to Uptown and meet Stacy Thorne. Um, <clears throat> so Stacy's dad is a very um, successful comedian, like super successful. Hence why they live over here in the fancy, fancy part of town. Mm, let's start with that. Dwayne Thorne. Oh, so um, dad typically is away, like on the road for, you know, comedy tours and shows and appearances. But he's also at home a lot too. So he may, you may see him for a week straight, and then you may not see him for a week straight. He's kind of like off and on with his career, which is cool because he can go and collect those checks and those coins, and then he can spend time with the family, take long vacations. All of that stuff. Vacations. I wonder if we would get like summer vacation for uh, the seasons pack. That would be dope. All right. I need y'all to go to school. You know what? Just stay there because we have to meet you in a minute anyway. Where is Guy? How did that even happen? Here we go. Hey. All right, so this is Guy Thorne. He's like, yes, I've made it. I've made it, Mama. I did it, Mama. I made something of myself. <laughs> Why are these kids not in school? Nice to look at, right? Got the the uh, Wolverine um, beard thing going on. This is Dwayne. He is, let's see, a showstopper, level 10 in uh, the comedian career. <laughs> His traits include charisma and comedy, obviously, level 10. He's pretty high in parenting, 7 in logic, 6 in video gaming because he has a lot of free time. Um, not so bad at fitness and handiness. Cooking is not his thing at all. Ah, he is family oriented, outgoing. Um, what is this? He can build friendly relationships faster. I'm not even gonna try to say that word. And he is a goofball, obviously. So that is um let's bring mom here. Where is she at anyway? That is the Wayne. Here is the mom with her pretty self. This is Parker. I just want y'all to just like take this in how beautiful she is. Like with no CC, so when I do start like downloading tons of CC, which I'm just begun, she is gonna be like, I mean, a bombshell, I guess. But she kind of sort of is already. Look at her face. Like, why? I mean, why? Just why? Big brown eyes, thick eyebrows. Like my eyebrows are on deficient. Like, my eyebrows are like my bank account insufficient. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is Parker. Super cute name. I love the name Parker for a girl. I love guy names for girls. Um, she is a stay-at-home mom. She's neat, good, family-oriented, and domestic. Um, pretty high in charisma. A really good cook. Really good parenting. But she's really good at singing. So... The story is that Parker was an aspiring singer. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. get some, get some, get some. Oh, um, what was I saying? Parker was an aspiring singer, while uh, Dwayne was a comedian, 
and then they had they met LOL quickly had um, Stacy and so she just decided to stay home and raise her family while he went on the road and uh, you know secure the bag and whatnot so that's what they did but she still has dreams of being a um a singer and I mean with level 10 girl she can do it if anybody can do it it would be Miss Park hey Miss Parker <laughs> so that is them oh 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 don't I hate when it does that I hate when it does that I hate when it does that hey Miss Parker there we go look at the sparks flying between them they're so in love they are so in love look at them they are so cute okay um, let's see, did we do traits? We did traits. Uh, for right now, though, her aspiration is to be a super pair. Oh, that was so rude for me to sneeze. Bless me. I'm sorry, you guys. Allergies. Um, yeah. So while these two brats are here, let's talk about them. This, this is Malia, um, Stacy's younger sister. She is a goofball. Um, pretty high in social motor skills. Bless me. Um, <laughs> at level four in mental creativity, she can probably work on those paint training skills a bit. I'm pretty sure that would build responsibility. I don't see why not. She has an aspiration of being a social butterfly. And then we have Guy Thorne, Stacy's younger brother. Always in the kitchen with that bow tie on. Dapper Dan. <laughs> Dapper Dan. He's pretty cute too. He's like, I see you looking at me. I see you, girl. I see you looking at me with some of this chocolate. <laughs> Alright, so that is Guy. He, His aspiration is to be a whiz kid. He's on his way with a seven in mental and and creativity but he's lacking and slacking in motor and social skills traits include genius and then here we have oh look at Toki this is um Stacy's kitten I love little kittens in the game like just random tidbit I'm more of a dog person no offense um for some reason I don't like dogs I mean I shouldn't say that. I'd rather play with kittens in um, Sims than. Why won't let me take a screenshot? Why won't let me take a screenshot? I know that was the most awkward pause. I'm still here. Forget it. That was cute though. Um, so yeah, I rather, I'm more of a dog person in real life, but for some reason I just love kittens and sims. They're just like, look at that. Why is, why is that just so freaking adorable? Why is it so freaking adorable? Why can't I take a, a daggone screenshot? Okay. Um, yep. So that is Toki. That is, um, Stacy's kitten. All right, Stacy. Let's bring you on home because you have company too. Stacy's currently, I know, I know, I know, I know. So this is Stacy. This is definitely like Stacy's thing. She would be the one to skip. Is she ever gonna come home? There we go. She would be the one to skip. She will be the one to encourage everybody else to skip. Uh, the principal is calling. Answer it. I mean, do I have a choice? Okay, um, so yeah, she is the one to skip and um, encourage her friends to skip. She is the one, she's the risk taker. She's going to be the one that's like, oh my gosh, there's a party in the bluff. Let's catch a train out there and go skinny dipping. Oh my gosh, you know, our favorite artist is going to be at some nightclub. Let's get our fake IDs. I know a guy that knows a guy. Let's go to this club or go to this bar. She's going to be the one. Um, I feel like between her being a risk taker and um, an insider and very like, oh gosh, girl, don't come through the wall. <laughs> and um, 
um, able to build friendly relationships quicker, like her father, I feel like there may be some tension between her and um, mama of the group, uh, Camille. Where Camille is going to be like, no, we shouldn't do that. She's going to be like, yes, we should. And I just feel like guys find more to being, you know, with risk takers. And, you know, Camille has that jealousy trait. Whatever. What are you doing? Lorraine? I feel like she's trolling uh -huh. folks. <laughs> yep, she likes to troll. So, anyways, um, we know her trait. She is skilled in mischief. <laughs> she's very charismatic. She's smart, she's funny like her father, and she has a level 7 in singing like her mother. So, who knows, maybe she will take her father's um, lead, or her father's path, and become a comedian. Uh, maybe she'll do what her, her mother wished she would have done, and become a singer. But either way, she wants to be like a friend of the world, she wants to be super popular. So that is Stacy. Um, let's, you know what, let's go ahead and do a tour of this apartment. Uh-oh, I see you, Mr. Lobo. I see you, babe. Shaking that thing. I don't know how this all goes. Oh, look at him. Dapper Dan Part 2. Look at him. Just like, like, look, can we just check out this body? Oh, look at the face. Look at the face. I see you with your eyeshadow on. Look at here. Yes, honey. Look at Mr. Lobo getting it. <laughs> he riding around and getting it. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. All right. So, so you're walking through the front doors. Mm, where did the front door go? Is that the front door? Gosh, please let this be the front door. See, how I get turned around so fast. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so you walk into the front door and you have, um, let them be free. You have the, um, living room, music, a lot of seating. The girls spend a lot of time here. Um, Stacy, Camille, and Riley. Over here, off to the right, you have dining room, very colorful. Um, I do have a few CC items in here, such as that light fixture and that flower and those mason jars over there. Um, don't you just hate when you get like this random dark spot? It's either too dark or too light and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I hate that too. So kitchen, dining room, um, breakfast nook area. Continue on to door number one. To the right, this is Stacy's room. She has a cute little desk, things for Toki, her kitten, pictures, all of her friends. Um, again, all of this stuff is from a, I feel like it's a rustic wedding pack or rustic romance CC pack. Something super cute stuff though. I love the candles. Um, all of Toki's things are in here. Um, dressers and drawers. Ah, uh, look at those candles. They are just like, just can we just take a moment to like appreciate these candles? Can we? Are we good now? Okay. Uh, she has a little sitting area over here. I'm, I might need to put, I'll put another chair over there so her friends can come and kind of like sit by the window and just gossip. Uh, walk in closet, dark spot. It's like death over there, it's just dark for no reason. I don't know why. But if I put a light over there, it'd be super bright. It's so annoying. Nice views. Um, we have a Jill and Jill bathroom she shares with her sister. Um, just more laundry. Um, ton of windows, tons and tons of makeup, uh, perfume, lotions, all of those girly things. They have their own washing and drying here, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> bathtub, toilet, and double shower so they can both get in here and wash their behinds at the same damn time. Um, and then through this door is her sister's room, Malia. Uh, Malia has a nice bright pink room. Got her own little uh, study nook over here, book nook as I like to call it. You know, nice views, nice toys. Oh, look at the baby. 
Why is he in here? He has a whole bedroom. But you know how brothers be. She's like, Daddy, he's in my bed again. Can you go tell him to get in his own room? <laughs> I got you, baby girl. I got you. Um, bathroom. This is more for a guy who's about to get it's <laughs> waking up out of his sleep. Um, guys, bedroom is straight ahead. Bright. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Print screen. Why is it print screen working? Print screen. Whatever. I don't know why it's not working. It's pissing me off. Anyways, nice, big, beautiful bedroom with nice views for a guy. I think he has the best views in the house, to be honest. Um, book nook. Does he have a computer? Can I put a computer in here? Oh, the baby's awake. Oh, Toki, why are you so cute? Um, what else? Yep, toys. I will sooner or later put in one of those science tables in here for him. Let his creativity and his genius thrive. And then in the last door over here, we have Dad's mom's room. You see Dad's awards, um, Hollywood Walk of Fame, or Sam Ashino Walk of Fame, computer, bed. Look at that snowboarding. We'll be able to do that soon, or maybe not. Who knows? Um, you know, basic stuff. They have their own bathroom in here as well. So, basic, pretty basic stuff. I mean, I mean, you know, it's better than most fancy a little bit. So that is the family, the families, I should say. I hope I didn't bore you too terribly. Um, I just wanted you to meet them all before we really, really get into the gameplay. Because, girl, when we get started, we gonna get started, okay? Let's, uh, ooh, let's make a prank call to Riley. Maybe even, uh, let's do Riley. <laughs> and then let's invite them over. Yabba. Possibly, can we invite them over, please? And thank you. What are you talking about? I didn't place an ad for a three legged llama for sale. No, you can't pick it up. Yeah. Oh, you oh, you just funny, huh? Oh. Uh, Camille and Riley. Okay. So, yeah, um. Leave comments below. The only mod I am playing with again is um, the MC Command Center, primarily for realism, I guess. So if they want to have crushes with older adults, then they could. Uh, I can also. <clears throat> oh, what's wrong, Love Muffin? What's wrong? Um. This brighten her day. Oh, what's wrong, love muffin? Um, I can also have more than eight Sims living in, in a household, which may come in handy um, when they go to college. Oh, look at them! Oh, they're so cute. Um, Hopefully, at some point in time, we will get university because I can you just imagine these three girls going to college together? Like, that would be so much fun. But yeah, comment down below which is your favorite character. Um, is it Camille here who's with the children in mother mode? Um, is it Stacy Thorne, our prankster, or our athletic? friend and super yeah. ambitious friend Riley let me know maybe it's Tokyo here because right this cat right here is life all she wants to do is sleep and that's all I want to do so maybe she's the real MVP look at the baby just look at that so yeah let me know who your favorite is and uh, comment down below if you haven't subscribed please do so now uh, follow us on Twitter at hey sweet Peace sins um give this video a thumbs up and yeah that's about it and we will see you next time love muffins sweet pea honey boo boo chow <laughs> love you guys
Bye.